If you were here in Minnesota 10 years ago today, you witnessed weather history. That's when a record 48 tornadoes swept across the state. One of them left the city of Wadena in ruins. As Bill Hudson shows us, it spared lives, but devastated everything from homes to the high school. It took place over a span of six hours this day, a decade ago, when 48 tornadoes swept through 22 Minnesota counties, stretching from Argyle in the northwest to Albert Lee near the Iowa border. Everybody was activated, and whether you were a spotter or a chaser, you were probably out watching the sky that day. Senior state climatologist Kenny Blumenfeld remembers it well, most notably the devastation in Wadena. You know, there was a moment where people from the community were wondering, did they have enough resources and enough patience to rebuild? The city of 4,000 people was ground zero for a powerful EF4, raking across neighborhoods, businesses, and the local high school. My first thought was, are we going to get out of here? Joyce Boyne was inside the school and recalls the utter devastation. As he pulled the door shut, to the classroom, that whole south side of the building was taken by the tornado. And so we barely got in there in time. 400 homes, 20 businesses, community center, and ice arena also damaged. While tornadoes elsewhere in the state claimed three lives, Wadena was spared a human toll. We did fare well, and, uh, and that's about as good an outcome as you can hope for when you have that kind of destruction. A day of weather violence like none other before or since. And for those who witnessed it, they hope never to see again. Bill Hudson, WCCO 4 News. The Wadena tornado injured 34 people. Three of the 48 of the tornadoes that day were fatal. They took a life in Polk, Ottertail, and Freeborn counties.